Hi, boys and girls. Well, this week is a very important and fun week. It is the week of Dr. Seuss. It is the week that his birthday is celebrated in. March the 2nd is his actual birthday, but we celebrate it all week. And the reason we do that is because there's so many Dr. Seuss books. So we'll be reading them on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so that we can try and squeeze in as many of the wonderful books that he contributed to the early childhood reading as possible. And this one for today is, Oh, the Places You'll Go. Oh, I see an exclamation mark at the end of this book. So we're going to need to read this one a little more excited. Oh, the Places You'll Go. Much better. This gives us a clue about how much emphasis we should put on the words. And it's written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. Pretty much all the books we read this week, both on Schoology and in the classroom, will be written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. All right, well, let's find out about Oh, the Places You'll Go. Hmm, very interesting place that he's in right here. I'm beginning to think that this is an imaginary place. I don't think I've seen any place like this in the real world. Oh, lots of crossroads. That's something that's going to happen to you as you grow up. You'll get to a crossroads in life and have to decide, am I going to turn left? Am I going to turn right? Or am I going to go straight ahead? Hmm, well, let's find out. Oh, the places you'll go. Oh, a nice hot air balloon ride. Oh, the places you'll go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're on your way. Hmm. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who will decide where to go. Lots of different ways this person could have chosen through the town. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, uh, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll just head straight out of town. Yeah, I think he made a good choice about not going down the street where there seemed to be a bit of danger lurking. Lurking means hanging out. It's opener there. It's wide open air. Definitely open out there. He's chosen to leave town. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Neat. So some air elephants started walking by him with a shade. Cool. Oh, the places you'll go. Wow. If I lived there, I think that would give me a headache with all of those lines all the time. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. All of these people in their hot air balloons taking off to interesting places once they've finished school and are thinking about the jobs they're going to do. Decisions they've got to make. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top 
all the rest. Definitely in the lead there, taking off to great places. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true. The bang-ups and hang-ups, they can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in the lurch. Yep, there are just some times when people are going to pass you by. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and the chances are then you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun unslumping yourself well that's not easily done yeah when you get in a slump that just means you just seem to be stuck in not such a good place things don't seem to go your way but don't worry it doesn't last forever especially with the right attitude you'll come to a place where the streets are not marked some windows are lit, but mostly they're darked. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you should go in, should you turn left or right? Or right in three quarters, or maybe not quite? Or go around the back and sneak in from behind. Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find. For a mind maker upper to make up your mind. Sometimes it can be really hard to make a decision. Sometimes you don't have all of the information you need to make a good decision. You can get so confused that you'll start to race down long wiggled roads at a breaknicking place and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place. So he's decided that if he runs, he can get away from the slump faster, but that's not always the case. The waiting place for people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or a no or waiting for your hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting, waiting for the fish to bite waiting for the wind to fly the kite, waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a bit of break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or just another chance. Everyone is just waiting. Hmm, the waiting place looks kind of boring. But there'll be times when you are waiting, waiting for something to happen, waiting to find out information. Who knows? Nope, that's not for you. Mm -mm. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. Awesome. So you made a great choice. And so now you're off again. Phew. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ride, ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. Phew! So glad you're on your way again, not stuck in that waiting place forever. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that bowl will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame! You can be famous. Famous as can be. 
with the whole wide world watching, you win on TV. Ow. Maybe that could happen to you if you wanted to be a sports star. Maybe. Except when they don't. Hmm. Because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you're only playing against you. Yep, sometimes in your life you're going to be lonely. Once again, it's how you choose to deal with it that will make or break the situation. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much that you might not want to go on. Hmm. But don't worry. Keep going on. Keep trying. Persevere. Never give up. Never surrender. Always keep moving forward. But on you will go. Through the weather, maybe foul. On you will go, though your enemies will prowl. On you will go, through the hankin crux howl. Onward, up many a frightening creek. Though your arms may get sore and your sneakers, they might leak. Whoa, that does seem like a dark, scary place. Don't worry. Keep rowing. Keep trying. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. Yep. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact, and remember that life is a balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and daft and never mix up your right foot from your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. Yep. You persevere, do good things, and make good choices, you are definitely going to move mountains and create a great life for yourself and for those you choose to surround you. So, be your name Buxpin or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Ellie Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Hmm. I wonder what places you will go when you grow up. I wonder what things you will see and maybe what you will be. I know that when I was living in New Zealand, the places that I wanted to go, some of them I've seen, some of them I haven't. Think about places that you would like to go, things that you would like to see, and write about it. Tell us about it. What would you need to get there? I knew that I needed to get a job so that I could earn money to get my plane ticket to America. That was something I needed to do. And then when I got here, I got another job so that I could go on other trips to see other great places. Hmm. I wonder what else I can do. Ah, oh, so much to do, so much to see. How about you write about it? Please tell me.